Good morning. I bring you greetings from the Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Isaac Esiama. Unfortunately, he's in the cabinet meeting and therefore cannot be here. But I welcome you warmly to the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Uh, I don't want to compete with the women, so I won't say much. But I would like to place on record that there has been a lot of publicity about this particular tournament. We all know that Ghana won the bid to hold this tournament in 2016, and then a new government came in. After that, a local organizing committee was put together by the ministry, and the local organizing committee has been at work since. The nature of these tournaments is that you get half or the federations come in and out, inspect your facilities, work hand in hand with you until you are ready to host the tournament. And therefore, over the period, there has been some doubt and there have been stories in the media about whether or not we are going to host this tournament. I want to place on record today, here and now, that Ghana has the full uh, blessing of CAF to host the 2018 Women Afcon. I'll repeat that. Ghana has the full blessing of CAF to host the 2018 Women Afcon. And it begins. That's why he repeated it. And it begins November 17th and ends December 1st. What we have done so far is to move ahead apart from the inspections and the refurbishment that we're having done at Accra Sports Stadium, is to inaugurate the local organizing committees at the venues, which are Accra and Cape Coast, for these teams to begin to work in terms of putting together packages that will help us promote and enjoy the tournament when the tournament begins. This also gives us an opportunity as a country to position ourselves. Tourism, in certain countries, they don't have mineral resources. All they have is tourism. So if for us as Ghanaians, we have mineral resources in addition to tourism, this tournament gives us a unique opportunity to position ourselves and let us show the world and the continent that Ghanaian hospitality that we've always been proud of. Finally, I will urge the venue local organizing committee members to help us in order for us to put every effort that we should put together to make sure that we have a successful tournament. And you have the full support of the Ministry of Youth and Sports. Thank you very much.